The Uchiha clan and their history of conflict. The arrogance and recklessness displayed by those who misused the Izanagi. As well as the clashes between them and how they were stopped by the Izanami. I understand why Izanagi and Izanami became forbidden jutsu. And I also see how one must learn from the past, accept one's fate, and then find a way to move on afterward. But... why? Why'd you even bother casting this jutsu on Kabuto? If he could still escape, then... He reminds me of the old me. He thinks by getting everything, he can accomplish whatever he wants to. And he makes himself believe that he can't fail, even if that really amounts to lying to himself. I stopped listening to what anyone else said, and I stopped letting myself trust anybody. In his case, Kabuto is so deluded that he thinks all of these powers are his and his alone. I understand him too well. Both of us were used by the shinobi world. He can't forgive himself or accept himself for what he truly is. It's clear that what he's doing is wrong. But he's not completely to blame for not realizing that. My chance has passed me by, but he can still forgive himself. But why, big brother? Why would you feel you needed to help him do that? He is not like you. No, you were perfect, Sasuke. You know, I was going to control you. I planned to use the visual jutsu Koto Amatsukami. I treated you as though you were a child. I thought you needed my protection. I was unable to trust your strength. It may be that a perfect being does not exist at all in the whole world. Sometimes two people who appear to be complete opposites are actually two sides of the same coin and can only succeed when they work together. Like the Izanagi and Izanami. Look at me and find in yourself what I couldn't find in me. However, do not ever say that I was perfect. <laughs>